Hey guys, so welcome to the part two of our floor plan. So we've successfully created our soft floor plan. We were able to place our doors and windows. So I think let's work, let's do put our annotations and see. Okay, so the, I can click on the test tool. And then, okay, uh, let me okay. I don't think let me just change this to black. Let me off the goodness so you can start to leave the goodness. So obviously this is the bedroom. Type the bedroom. This is also a bedroom. Bedroom. And this is the bath. So we just adjust them where well, place them properly. Okay. This is a bath. So this is tall. This is a kitchen. View veranda. Entrance. Living room. Yeah, living room. Master bedroom. You can decide to change the font if you want to. If you don't like the font and size of the font also. Imagine I click this. This way you can change the font to any other thing you prefer. Okay. There are a lot of fonts here you can choose from. Okay. But I just prefer using this default area. You can set to up the you can set to go underline it. So you can start to change the size of the font, either be or normally by the default is what you have. You can start to change it to two. Yeah. But let's leave it at three, okay? Uh, okay. Tiny, yeah. Yeah, so this is our dining. So imagine you want to change maybe the font or the size of the font, and you want to change everything. You can just click one of the tests, click on test to control A, and you can see you have successfully selected everything. Then you can change the size to maybe 2.5. Okay, if you wish to. Uh, so I think let's just rush place our roof plan. I said to adjust this. Let's put our roof plan. Okay. okay. Just adjusting the elevation views. So first of all, what do I do? Okay, I will use the field tool. Just like I want to create a complex profile. So I will see my e let my if size before putting out of the wall. Yeah, maybe 200 or 250. I'm doing the session of my concrete fissure. That's what I'm doing. So I will just maybe do a simple design. Okay. Okay. Just create a simple design. So at the end of the day, I will cut this so i can copy it come to option complex profile profile manager edit then i paste so i'm going to place this on the origin because when i want to draw it i want to be drawing it from this point so i will change the color uh this is my favorite color i can just pick, you can pick any white color for shares but i prefer this so i will give it a name carpet uh Okay, uh, pet wall, uh, or beef, or, or you can name it concrete pressure, and name of the shares, and you close at the end of the day. So you come to your first, okay, this is your elevation, your start elevation, this is your grand elevation. You come to your first, uh, sorry, your first floor, then put on the trace so that you can be able to see the floor plan. 
on the ground floor so i'll click on wall click on this structure then i will click on composites click on the custom and this man this is the way i just save so i will just draw it this is why i say she say uh place that on the origin that is the reason so i will just click on this okay Okay, so just to place concrete fissure. You can see if you're having a uh, kind of a different color at the edge, if you notice, okay, I suspended the group. I was able to check this place. That's why you can see I don't, I don't have that. So in case your one is having that issue, just click on the concrete fissure walls and make sure these two places are shared. Then let me place my roof or uh, this is my roof too then remember my eve is 450 i will change and change this to 17 then maybe i will just change this top color uh, or leave it to the red or but i usually use the gray then at the end of the day i just draw okay Okay, so after drawing it, I will just go straight to my elevation and I will drag this down. Drag this down. Then maybe go to my TV D and C. Uh maybe the roof is too high. I can just set to click on the roof. I change the angle to 30 degrees. Or 30 degrees to oh, I'll change it to 40 degrees. Okay, uh let's try 35. 35 is okay go back to my elevation and uh, i just uh, just take this down make sure you are on the straight line okay okay so that is it uh i want to do some designs and how do i do that I mean, let me see i want to raise this up i want to raise this up so let me just uh explode yeah so uh, I'm going to turn off this and I'm going to click on this particular part. Also click on the concrete features. Okay, so I'm going to raise this by maybe 400. Or let me bring it down by 100. Okay, let's, let's leave it there. Let's leave it. I think it's too bad and it will be done in two weeks. Okay. Alright, uh, make sure you that layer no line is showing to be sure that you're on a straight line. I type the distance. I brought it down by 100. So I'm going to adjust the roof. So I'm going to move this roof inside. Okay, move it inside. Now I'm trying. I will try and and uh, okay, take this. Okay, let me come here. Okay, just take it inside. So be sure that please I need to adjust. Okay, I need to take this up. Okay, so at the end of the day, I'm going to take it to this point. Take it to this point. Okay, take it to that point. Okay. So, uh, the take this to this point. I'm going to take okay, so I've successfully arranged this roof. Uh okay, let me take distance to overlapping properly. 
Okay, nice developing. So I'm going to create a node here then drag this just just make sure you are following every single step i'm taking okay i'm going to bring this out okay i'll set the next so i'm going to create a node and then drag this inside okay uh, I hope you understand what I've just done. And if you don't understand, just let me know in the comment section. Uh, okay, I'm going to draw a wall. Okay, this time the wall that I'm showing is a puppet. So I'm going to come to the ground floor, uh, inject the wall, and I'm going to draw it following this line. So this is the way I just created um, and I'm going to take it down. Okay, let me stretch it down. Okay, so we'll place our roof. I think should we do a door style? Okay, let's try a door style. Go to the roof. I will second on the first floor. Let's create a dosh at the front. So I'm, I'm trying to look. Okay, so I will make sure I'll, I'll, I'm on the straight line. Create a node here, then bring it forward. Create a node here, then bring it forward. Okay. Well, let me for beats. Okay. So I'm going to beat and then uh, bring it down. Maybe by 200. Also bring it down. Also bring it down. So I will go to the objects. We look for this structure or special structure. Look for shutters. Double click on it. Click on this. Okay. Custom. Uh, we'll change the surface to white. Sliding white, I think that is all. Then I will just place it. Okay. So I will just take this off. Then I end up there. I'm going to trim or. Yeah, trim top. Make sure it's trim top element, and that is it. So I've created the dosh and this is our roof. So next to we'll be doing is maybe create facade or should we put uh, dimensions? What's next? What's next? Okay. I think the next thing is to create facade. But before that, let me just put the necessary dimensions on the floor plan. From here, change on everything here to the fair or black. <clears throat> I'm picking this. So, okay, I'm going to pick all this. Checking on the wall. Right click, then. Okay. Click on this, click on this, click on this, click on this, right click, OK. OK. So click on this, 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 right click. OK. Let's see if we can use automatic dimensions on this wall. Document annotation. Automatic external dimension. So uh we need this, we don't need the number two. Okay. So let's click and then bring that. We did not get the wall. Okay, it's maybe because we did not click on the wall. Let's see.
Okay, so let's go back. Meditation. Still, so yeah. Okay, so that is it. Take it out a little bit. Uh, the twitch and parts. Let me spread them a little bit. Okay. So let me pick this, pick this, pick this, pick, 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 pick. Okay. So, and I'm going to take, go to my documents, annotation, automatic, external. Okay. Click on this. There's another method that if you don't, if you can't really achieve this or you're not okay with this, you can just come in and just pick this. Let's be clicking them one by one. Click this. Maybe the automatic dimension is not giving you what you want. Because we just do this. And I don't really right click. Okay. Okay. That is it. Then you can click on all the words. Our works are in mill are in meter. I want to I want it to be in millimeter. So what do we do? What do we do? Go to option, widget preference, dimensions, we change this to millimeter, change this to zero, then we okay. You can see our work is in millimeter now. So uh, we've not placed our window at the living room. Click this. So that is it. Maybe let's place our window at the living room. I think it's two window we yeah. have. Let me stretch this to the edge. Stretch this to the edge. And uh, I'm still 450. Okay. Then we add this window. Let me create the sats. Okay. Okay. So that is it. Uh, maybe we can draw our session. In this way, then uh, yeah, that is it. They will go click. So there's our session. So I think the next video, which which will be the part three, will be focused on how to create a classical facade on this building. Yeah, I want to work on a classical facade on this building, uh, or maybe we can change it to a gable style of roof instead of having this. Uh, if so stay tuned thank you for watching and sticking with us to this point if you like this video please do like subscribe and uh, share it thank you very much